What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we are back to Frostpong 2. Alright, so we still need to find a way to find fuel outside of our city. We are plus 2 on homes right now, plus 11 on food. Our materials is minus 305, so we are going to need to eventually get that because we are having a slight issue with that and our goods limited is going to be causing some uproar inside the city. Now, with all that said, we do have 772 workforce available. We are slowly running out of our prefabs though. So right now we only have 161. So that's going to be another issue here. So eventually we're going to have to get some more prefabs. And unfortunately, that's going to be inside of different areas because as you guys can see, the only thing we have is materials. And I don't think we can actually convert this into prefabs, can we? Because materials into prefabs or goods can produce other resources with additional infrastructure. So actually we could do this guy. That's going to cause a little bit of squalor between this area here. But that's going to give them like a really decent amount of heat bonuses, technically. We're just gonna have to do it. Alright, so we have 81% on our research idea, so that's all good. So let's go into the sky map here and see what we got. So we still need to find and utilize new fuel source, so that's going to be this deal. That theoretically should be working. So what all do we need for another extraction district then? Alright, so now we're at the part in the game to where we're basically just going to have to let this resource deposit end on its own. And once we demolish the building, we'll be able to get a little bit more prefabs back to us. And that should allow us to build a second facility to be able to go across the world there. So our main thing is going to be to research this and hopefully we'll have enough research time to get the logistics bay up and running. The new learners are delighted you kept your word. You now look upon your rule for more positively and consider your leader with integrity. Relations with new learners improve, trust rises. Alright, so now everyone is actually in a positive out spec, so that's good. Steward, five children are dead and a dozen lay wounded after two large youth gangs met for what they call a rumble. Most of the children were armed with knives, the fighting escalated to a full-scale battle. As the parents of the deceased mourn, many insist that these children should not have been left unattended. And indeed, many backstreet alleys seem to be overtaken by uncared for youth. Some areas are beginning to be dangerous even for adults. The persistent lack of law regulating childhood is causing crime and tension to rise even further. The children of our future must be attended. You will have 30 weeks to pass either the family apprenticeship or mandatory school. Okay, so heat stamp is slightly decreased. That's good. Right, so our automated logistics bay improves our logistics bay area itself. So you don't actually have to like build a whole new place. That's why this one's much cheaper. It's only 60 prefabs to upgrade it. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. That way it gives a little bit of boost. Then we'll improve our uh, people once we get enough people back inside the area there. So let's go into two times speed. I still need to find this produce mass goods. And regulate the childhood. So this one doesn't actually have like anything really too important. I can see. We have to find a way to increase our security though. Greatly increased good scarcity, significant increase by no common rules, childhood, generally greatly... Alright, so you know what? We don't know where the one item is, but we know how to find the stuff for the youth. So we'll start out with this. Let's see here. Trust Rise unlocked the Youth Employment Program, city of, which bolsters the city's workforce but decreases the heat stamps income. Uh, let's see, crime is slightly decreased and lungs the let's see, workforce but decreases the trust. I mean I feel like our heat stamps aren't the issue anymore. Alright, so let's go back inside the map here. Do we have enough to actually send out a team for like this way? And we're also going to have to deal with the cold here soon. All right, so we have 185. Once we get to 200, we'll be able to build another logistics division. So let's slow down. And let's see, we're going to need more workforce though, aren't we? Yeah, 
Alright, so we're gonna need 400 workers. So that once again, this is where the people come into play. For the time being... We can go negative, just for a temporary time. Alright, so let's see, are you going to... I think that's just going to extend it far enough to where it'll get the heat bonus. <laughs> Which is a little cheesy, but you know what? It actually does reach, technically. Alright, so that'll be built. And then once we get our workforce back, we'll put the rest back inside of the food. That way we're not all starving to death. So theoretically, we should have solved, like, the situation rising with the humans. Alright, so now, theoretically, we should have 15 here and possibly even more on the top side. So we got 24 here. Yes, yeah, so we got about 30. So once they get back from their expedition, we'll actually be able to hopefully find more people. And if not, then we'll stick them inside the highlands and possibly find some prefab nodes. And that's going to cover up the cost of building in some of the new buildings for us. All right, so with crime rising in the city, we need to find a way to actually balance it. So 47% of the city is going to be for this. So we got 20 heat demand along some random searches, district ability, which decreases crime, but it causes tension to rise. So that's not necessarily good, but crime is slightly decreased. That one's going to cause heat. Everything else. All right. So these two are heat demand. Someone that's not is this guy. But at the same time, Why would you not choose this option? It uses a little bit more workforce. But it's not going to have any heat demand on the city, so I feel like the Pilgrims is probably the best solution for this. So we'll start researching that. Alright, so we're at 80% for our expedition, so they're almost back to finding people. Alright, so a lot of people are seeking protection from crime, but we're going to be solving that here in a minute anyways. And then we'll be able to build like a watchtower or something to actually help some of that. 90 years old. 90 summers. Well, winter's more like it. I've had a good life, I guess. Well, I've had a life anyways. Not everyone in the old Queen Heath crew can say the same. I'd always thought I'd be sharing my Liddy's grave, but now Pete's pressuring me to donate my body to the city. Apparently them doctors are using dead folk's skin to fix up frostbite or something. Can't they leave me alone? Have I been through enough? The lack of law regulating funerals is causing tension to rise in the city. Alright, so we'll work on that next. So we are producing a decent amount of coal. Let's see, so you're turned off already. I don't know, that's the housing district. Alright, so we'll turn you down some. So we have plus three houses. I don't think we can go any lower. Yeah, minus two. Alright, so we have to have that at least. Alright, so we can milk out the prefab just like a little bit longer. So let's go and go inside of our building upgrades here. So we're going to need workforce in order to improve the construction of that. Here pretty soon we're going to be demolishing this building. It only has nine weeks remaining, technically. And you're running pretty low, too. Seven weeks. All right, so both of our prefabs are going to be completely toast, so we're going to have to expand outside the city. So let's see, so young adults are encouraged to experience free from arbitrary bounds and judgment. So we do need to vote for this. Is there any other thing that we're able to vote on or is it just that's the law that they want to pass? All right, so 63 are hesitant. So we're definitely going to have to negotiate some. Two won't negotiate against their worldview. All right, so let's try the new Londoners. So 
Alright, so what do you vote for? Everyone must support the produce of prefabs to help the expansion of the city. Main districts produce a small amount of prefabs. That seems pretty good. I mean, we already technically have done this one, so I mean, technically we could go with that and it might automatically complete. But I feel like a small amount of prefabs is probably more useful. All right, so now we have 55 for 29 against. Do we really want to make another promise? And it's only 16 that are like really strong against us. The votes are in. The measure passes. The Raided Youth. Vote held on Star Wars proposal. Stuart. The Star Wars field elite squads guards to be used at Stewart's discretion. A new law takes hold. Uh, next law to be voted on in the council. Oh, that's cool. All right, so basically the people that you trust, you can actually like promote them or condemn them. So there's less of them on the council here. So like, for example, the Pilgrim and the Frostlanders, since we have less of them, we could tell them. <laughs> that we don't necessarily want them on our list. All right, so pass any law in the childhood category. I thought we just did that. But it seems that the cold season is starting to come back around, so we are going to need to increase our output just a little bit. Which means we're gonna need more workers. Uh, so we have six weeks of use, so that's running pretty low. Our prefab's getting low. Eventually, we're going to have a big enough population coming in. In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostlight gear, neatly laid side by side, left to freeze, with black oil marking over their closed eyes and ghastly burial ritual. Matt found suggesting they were heading to an old machine somewhere by the desolate coast. The machine would require a source of fuel. We should investigate. The community of Frostlands are eking out pitiful living off moss and small fish. With no furnace, they survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder under thick layers of fur. They would undoubtedly prefer to live in New London. Alright, so that's a decent amount. So let's go and grab them. Now that the Frostlanders have departed, we can use the village to provide fish for New London. An output here could increase our supply by 100 food until a deposit of 80,000 food is depleted. Alright, so that one's still saying come back later. And you are still technically working. Even though it doesn't say that we've actually found a way to do it outside of the city. So I'm guessing we're both about to fail these since I can't figure out like what to research in that category, which is a little weird. Hundred twenty nine murdered by violent criminals. Please do not be scandalized by the liberation. All right, so now that we have more people, we can actually go inside of here and do a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so first off, let's increase our logistics building. Probably want a headquarters too. Or staff officers can then handpick scouts, intensive drilling, and oversee exploration. So, I mean, that's going to also lower our time that it takes. Are we going to need a fresh version though? Yeah, so it looks like if you build the automated district, it's just going to block this guy from being able to be placed, so that's good to know. I mean, so far, our co oh, actually, speaking of that, we should probably increase our coal output. We'll do 27 for now. Let's see, so that housing is going to be blocked. Are we going to be able to build anywhere else? So I think we can like build along like the outskirts here, which is going to be a very similar design to what we had in the first game, actually.
because we could do that and then we can put a heat pump here and that's going to heat up both of these areas and this little zone too. Now, do we have enough expedition team to launch this way? All right, so now we're going to have a team going out there. We have a team coming back with the food. We should have a team coming back with the oil in that area. Our enforcer law is going to be here soon, so hold on. So we should be able to mobilize enforcers. All right, so now if we go inside the research tree, now that we have a little bit of stuff, city must move further towards tradition to research this. Oh, interesting. So we've got prisons that we could do. Trust falls slightly. I feel like trust would rise in the situation where the whole city is sort of having issues. So we got 39, 45% of the city. So this one has the biggest boost. Crime is significantly decreased. We'll get our crime corrected. Our housing's being built. Both of these are going to go in the negative. So in the first game, they sort of had like a whole bunch of people going against you. I don't know if it's going to be the same way or not in this one. So we should be able to go inside of here. All right, so crimes lower, random searches for the district. So basically you can upgrade any of the housing areas for patrol towers. Before we do that though, I think we should go and upgrade the housing first. So let's do a heating hub and see how it's going to heat up like this entire zone here. Uh, let's see. So we may as do it like right here. Which at the moment we don't necessarily need it, but the housing's not built yet either. So we have four weeks left for you, so our prefab is going to be empty here soon. You fail to regulate childhood and time as a different groups continue to apply different standards in the matter. Chaos persists. Stewart, there was a shameful display during a wake yesterday. Some of the deceased families wanted a traditional barrier, while others complained about the wasteful antics and said the body should be donated to further the city's health care. This could save people's life was answered with, I won't risk my father's soul. As people got more heated, they eventually came to blows in the aftermath of the fight. The body disappeared, and each side suspects the other foul play. Sadly, this is not an isolated incident. Maybe we need to common rules to get everyone on the same page. The persistent lack of law regulating funerals is causing tensions to rise even further. So we'll go ahead and dig that out. So that's going to be the rest of our material that should hopefully get us into the positive with that, and that should also decrease our crime rate some. The housing is going to be finished building here in a second. We're stuck in research, so we can't do anything with the rest of our promises that we made. We are about to fail another Thing, though, since we couldn't figure out how to do this mass produced goods quest line. Stuart, Stuart. Stuart, the Frostlanders have grown deeply unhappy with your role. Community leaders now openly urge Frostlanders to join the Pilgrims, arguing that as part of a radical organization, they will be better able to help protect their interests. If nothing is done to adjust the situation, many angry Frostlanders will join the Pilgrims and push the faction to take action against you. Hostile relations with the Frostlanders will cause them to radicalize and join the Pilgrims. Okay, so wait, what? I will convince their medical action is not needed. You have 40 weeks to improve relations with Frothlanders. So we can suppress or we can encourage. So basically. All right, so Frostland is 45% of the city. So we want to make sure So we'll try to repair relations then. Everyone must aid expedition by helping them prepare for journeys. Expedition time is slightly decreased. I don't see anything wrong with that, so let's just go and vote. The eyes have it. Alright, so relations have been repaired already. Oh, we have one week for that. 
Take note. A new rule. Alright, so now we can demolish you. You're going to be destroyed here in a minute too, so basically we are going to be completely out of our prefab. So if we go inside of our expedition tree, you'll see that we're still doing that in the highlands. So some of the coal deposits in the district will soon run out. The stars and new learners believe they can use explosives to access deeper vein of coal. The frost learners say we should send children for mist ore in tighter tunnels. Some did this as kids themselves in the abandoned mine outposts that they survived unscathed. Should we support any ideas? Ooh. So the thing is, we need a relationship to improve with the Frostlander and Pilgrim, so I feel like the fragging of the coal makes so much more sense. We had to do it for the mission. Alright, so technically we're still doing really good on that. Let's go with 13, so we still need three housing, so hold on. So theoretically, we just have to... Expand it out this way then. So that'll be the plus three homes that we need. We're still really good on food, technically, because we have that huge increase. So hold on, so we can actually drop you down some. So now we're only minus two on materials. Once the expedition gets done, we'll be good. All right, guys, we're going to be stopping here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.